In this tutorial, we'll cover the following topics. I'll demonstrate how to make and receive calls. We'll view the callers list and redial list. I'll show you how to use the speakerphone. I'll mute a call and then place the call on hold. I'll transfer a call and demonstrate how to use call forward. The features used in this tutorial are for training purposes only. Depending on your telephone system and how your phone is set up, your phone may not use all of the features listed in this tutorial. To make a call, you can press the line button or the hands free button or pick up the handset to get dial tone and then dial the number. Or with live dial pad turned on, you can simply dial the number and automatically use the hands free function. As I press line 1, notice the top left corner. This will display the line number that is being used. In this case, L1 is displayed for line 1. If I press the line 2 key, L2 is displayed. The 6863i supports HiQ, a wideband audio technology. HiQ delivers enhanced audio performance and superior voice clarity. HiQ will automatically be used when available. When you have finished with your call, press the goodbye button to hang up. The callers list is a stored log of incoming calls containing up to 200 entries. It stores the name, if available, phone number, call time, date, and missed or answered call status. The callers list displays from the newest incoming calls to the oldest incoming calls. Use the up and down arrows on the navigation button to cycle through the callers list. You can dial the number by going off hook, pressing the line button, or by pressing the hands free button. If you would like to redial a previously dialed number, press the redial button. The redial feature stores up to 100 of the last dialed numbers. Use the up and down arrows on the navigation button to cycle through the redial list. You can dial the number by going off hook, pressing the line button, pressing the hands free button, or by pressing the redial key a second time. Next, I'll answer a call using the hands free mode. When you have an incoming call, by leaving the handset on hook and pressing the line that is flashing or the hands free button on my phone, this activates the hands free speaker mode. This was set up in the audio mode menu in the options list. Notice the hands-free LED is on solid. This indicates speakerphone mode. The hands-free microphone is located beneath the dial pad. Be careful not to obstruct the microphone, for example with papers or books. If I pick up the handset, the hands-free button is no longer lit and I can continue my conversation on the handset. If I press the hands-free button again, the call is switched back to my speakerphone and I can continue the call and return the handset back to the cradle. When I press the mute button, you'll know the mute feature has been activated when the mute button is flashing red. Press the mute button again to unmute the call. Now I'll place the call on hold. When a call has been placed on hold, the line key and the ringer LED both flash and the LCD icon in text change. Pressing the hold key a second time or pressing the flashing line key will remove the call from hold and connect you back to your caller. Now I'll demonstrate how to transfer a call. The first thing I need to do is to answer this incoming call. After I answer it, I find out they need to be transferred to another number. When I press the transfer button, I have two ways I can transfer this call. I can perform an unsupervised transfer, I can dial the number and then hang up, and the call is automatically transferred to that number. Or, I can perform a supervised transfer. This is where I dial the number, I wait for the person to answer, and I give them a heads up on who's calling. If I want to cancel the transfer, I'll press the right arrow to drop and cancel the transfer. Then press the line button to reconnect to the caller. If I want to continue with the transfer, as soon as I hang up, press the transfer button or press the goodbye button, the call will be connected to the person I'm transferring the call to. The next feature is Call Forward. This feature is located in the Options List. Press the Options List button. Press the down arrow to display Call Forward. 
press the right arrow to enter the call forward menu. Using the up and down arrows, you can cycle through the five call forward options. Your choices are call forward all, call forward busy, call forward no answer, all off, and all on. In this tutorial, I'm only going to demonstrate call forward all. This means I will set up the option so that all incoming calls will forward to another telephone number. Press the down arrow key and cycle through the choices until the display reads 1 all. Then press the right arrow to select change. Activating call forward all is a two-step process. I have to change the call forward state to on and then I will add the telephone number that I want all calls to forward to. Step 1. Let's turn the call forward state to on. Press the down arrow to display call forward state. This menu determines whether the call forward feature is currently on or off. The call forward state is currently off. Press the right arrow to select change. Press the down arrow once to change the call forward state to on. Then I'll press the right arrow to set and save my setting to on. Step 2. Let's add the telephone number where I want all calls to be forwarded to. Press the down arrow to bring up the call forward number menu. Then press the right arrow to select change. I will use the keypad slash dial pad to enter the telephone number where I want all incoming calls to be forwarded to. This could be my mobile number, home number, or another office number. If you make a mistake, use the left arrow to backspace. When you are finished, press the right arrow to set and save the number. Press the left arrow to select done and press the pound key to confirm the call forward choices. Press the goodbye button to exit the options list. When you have activated call forward all on your phone, the ringer slash message waiting indicator is lit and the LCD screen displays the message call forward all. To turn call forward all off, return to the options list, press the down arrow to display call forward, press the right arrow to enter the call forward menu, press the right arrow to make changes, press the down arrow to display call forward state, press the right arrow to select change, press the down arrow to turn the call forward state to off, press the right arrow to set and save my choice, press the left arrow to select done, and press the pound key to confirm the call forward choices. Press the goodbye button to exit the options list. Call forward all has been turned off. That was the last feature in this tutorial, and that completes this tutorial on the 6863i user training and features.